Our next speaker comes from the Firearms Policy Coalition. You know him from Coffee with Craig on YouTube, Mr. Craig Deleuze. You know, I got to tell you, I, uh, it's amazing to see each and every one of you here. Uh, I live in the, in the state of California, so whenever I have a chance to leave California, I very much enjoy it. It's great to be around patriots, patriots who love their country and love the values upon which it was founded. The Firearms Policy Coalition is a Second Amendment civil rights advocacy organization. And I think that's important to understand because I think we so often lose the idea of what civil rights are. We've allowed it to be co-opted. We think we have we are politicians in this building that believe that civil rights are special rights for special people. For example, they don't have a problem with certain people having firearms. That's why they like things like discretion and they like things like background checks and things like permits. You know, those things where they take your right and then they charge you to get it back and then they control it and try to take it away at any whim. Folks, this, the right to keep and bear arms, civil rights are the rights that are available to each and every one of us, male, female, black, white, Muslim, Christian, Jewish, it doesn't matter, Republican, Democrat, civil rights are the rights that are available to each and every one of us. Also, these rights are not given to us by government. They are endowed to us by our creator. Amen. And to recognize that, we write a thing called a constitution. And in that, they have a bill of rights where those civil rights are enumerated. And this one is so important. They made it the second. Something I never thought I would do at a, at, a, at a Second Amendment rally is quote Dave Chappelle, where he said, the First Amendment is first for a reason, and the second one is, say, is second in case the first one doesn't work out. We have to stop allowing the Second Amendment to be treated as a second-class right. You have politicians who believe that it's not a right, it's a privilege, or it may be a right, but it's not a right right. You know, I mean, even justices treat it foul. They have these different like levels of scrutiny that they use. And if it's the First Amendment, oh, it's strict scrutiny. It's this is serious. But when they get to the Second Amendment, it's rational basis. Now, for those of you who are not attorneys and I am not an attorney and I did not sleep in a Holiday Inn Express last night. <laughs> but I learned the rational basis is is this when they look at a law to determine whether or not it's constitutional. What they say is, is there any good reason why someone would do this? And the worst part about it is, is that the, the, the defendant, the person you're arguing against in court, doesn't even have to come up with that reason. He can just make it up in his head. That is how poorly the Second Amendment is treated. The Declaration of Independence talks about rights being inalienable, right? Yeah. But to secure those rights, Governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. Let me ask you a question. Who's the governed? We are. I, no, I didn't, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm confused. Who are the governed? We are. Folks, it is up to us to use those civil rights to fight, to fight and make sure that we stand up for the rights, not just for ourselves, but for the next generation and the generation after that. We will be judged by his, in history by what we do this day. Amen. This is a fight for our civil rights, and if we do not use them, we will lose them. Thank you very much. Amen. Thank you, Craig. Craig Deleuze, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Craig. If you like our videos, follow, subscribe, like, and share.